Today, I guess I want to talk to you about um, taking the concept of reputation management and transforming it into something that I would say is called brand advocacy. Because reputation management is, um, in my opinion, largely garnering a negative influence online in the sense that reputation managers clean up crap people have done in the past. Right? And so what you want to avoid is being associated with that sort of stuff. Now, this is our company. Um, our primary specialization is in e-commerce. Um, so we focus with our clients on more traffic, more conversions. That's our primary focus. I'm in a unique position where um, I actually don't really work in Mercurian anymore. Um, Mark, my business partner who had some personal things at home, couldn't make it today. Um, he heads up Mercurian now. Last year we started uh, a e-commerce store and or an e-commerce group of e-commerce stores. And by my benchmarks, I reckon we're one of the fastest growing pure play online retailers in Australia. And so I now head that up full time. Um, but all the principles that we apply in our businesses, we apply for our clients as well. So I get the unique experience of being able to see from both an agency perspective while simultaneously being able to see from a business owner and a retailer as well. So there's a couple of key takeaways that I want you guys to, I guess, be able to walk away with. Um, the, the concept of a brand, I want you guys to hopefully redefine what you think about it, right? The, the, the concept of a, of a brand itself, what it means, what it, what it um, embodies for both the company and also for the people who like or dislike the company. Um, in reputation management, there's, there's a, a moral question. Um, and that question is, should you or should you not take on certain clientele? Right? And that is a personal, a personal thing that you need to identify. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go and take on uh, someone who wants to scrub their, their history of siphoning a million bucks from someone because they got done and got caught or whatever. That's not, I'm not going to take that client on. But others will. Right, so it's a question of morality that, ha that comes into play. The future of reputation management. This is where I see it going in, in, uh, in towards the future. Um, this is more my perspective. It's more my opinion. Um, and it centers around the, the brand advocacy side of things. The process we go through. Uh, this is a process that you can go through with your clients uh, if you are currently performing reputation management. But it's also something that you'll be able to go through if you are the, the brand manager or you know the, the online manager for a company as well. Um, there's a little bit of a talk about uh, social and outreach and building links. And what you find is that there's crossover between reputation management or being a brand advocate for a company and the outreach process. There's a natural link building process that goes on behind the scenes that I believe is what Google is truly looking for 